This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and it's also M19 week. So this week, we are heading back to Modern for another Spirits deck, but this one's a little bit different. You know, we played Bant Spirits a few days ago for Much of Brew. Well, I promised that we would also look at Blue, White, and Esper Spirits to see what the differences are, because I'm really excited for the Tribe in Modern, and we just happened to get a super sweet Fishbowl Spirits deck, Blue, White, Enchanted Spirits. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. It comes to us from No Snip. So thank you to No Snip for submitting a super sweet deck. If you'd like your own deck considered for a future edition of Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave a link in the comments or you can email me, saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, let's talk blue white enchanted spirits for modern. So, much like our Bant Spirits deck, we're playing all the spirits. However, there is one super huge difference. Well, actually, a couple, but the big biggest one is, rather than playing Collected Company, our big enabler is Ether Vial. So Ether Vial hopefully comes down on turn one, and it lets us sneak our spirits into play at instant speed. Not only that, but it also allows us to cheat on mana. So we can do some really cool tricks where we are playing a spirit and then also violing in a spirit to really flood the board quickly or do some tricky things we're protecting our stuff. So Ether Vial, really key to the deck, kind of makes us play in a merfolk type of style very similar to the merfolk deck so ether vial kind of supports our theme as far as the spirits themselves we have the same three basic packages as the bant spirits list so supreme phantom drog skull captain gives us a bunch of evasive lords supreme phantom very powerful magic card coming down on turn two pumping the team letting us get in tons of damage and drog skull captain comes with the additional upside of giving our spirits hex proof while also pumping our team and with ether vial we can do some really cool tricks where we wait for our opponent to like try to fatal push or lightning bolt one of our spirits then we put drug soul captain into play instant speed not only are we giving our spirits a big power and toughness boost but we're also fizzling the removal spell so it's kind of like a weird source of card advantage then we have our counter spell spirits mausoleum wanderer comes down on turn one gets big as we cast spirits and then kind of force spikes or counters non-creature spells so really good protection against control decks from ras good protection against combo decks if our opponent's trying to add nauseam or do other degenerate spell based thing even against like the storm deck mausoleum ronder really key to staying alive while also starting our curve on turn one and then spell queller hits a lot of things in the modern format outside of like tron decks pretty much every heavily played card in modern is four or less so it's kind of just a hard counter as long as it's on the battlefield then the combination of our drog school captain and mausoleum wonders help protect it so our opponent can't get their spell back after we exile it then we have our protection spirit so rattle chains just comes in gives the spirit hexproof another way to fizzle a removal spell we can even flash it in which is very strong and it gives all of our other spirits flash so in some ways it's kind of like half of an ether vial where we can still put our stuff at instant speed doesn't help us cheat on the mana but if we have a rattle chains out we can just leave up our mana flash things in at our convenience to fizzle removal spells or at the end of our opponent's turn and then selfless spirit wrath protection also can fizzle a target or removal spell while also being another spirit beating down in the air so that's the part of the deck that looks a lot like bant spirits however we do have a sweet twist and this is where we get to the enchantment part of the deck so talos wisp is an interesting spirit two mana you get a one three and then when Ever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, which in our deck is going to be spirits, we get to tutor for a enchant creature card, reveal it, put it in our hand, and if we do, we shuffle our library. So this is a way that after we get on the battlefield, as we are casting our spirits, we can tutor up our enchantments, and we have two sweet enchantments to get. So Curious Obsession gives us that card advantage engine. We talked about this during Bant Spirits, that Collected Company, very important, not as much because it puts 
spirits into play at instant speed, but because it gives us two spirits for the price of one, and one of the risks of spirits is we don't have much card advantage, well, Curious Obsession is kind of our card advantage engine. It comes down, enchants a creature, deals combat damage, we keep drawing cards, it also pumps it, and then we also have Steel of the Godhead. So Steel of the Godhead, a little bit weird, a multicolor enchantment. If the creature that we enchant is white, gets plus one, plus one in lifelink. If it's blue, it gets plus one, plus one in unblockable. And the idea of Steel of the Godhead is it allows us to take advantage of a spirit that was also missing in the Bant deck, and that is Geist of St. Traff. So in the Bant deck, Geist is a little risky because we don't have a ton of ways to force through the damage, so it just gets blocked very easily. In this deck, we can use Tails Whist to find a Steel of the Godhead, Steal the Godhead on Geist of St. Traft, and the end result is we have a 4-4 four, four unblockable, life-linking, hexproof Geist of St. Traft, which is pretty much a guaranteed way to close out the game. Like, unless our opponent has a literal wrath, they're going to have a very hard time beating that, and since we have all of our weird protection like selfless spirits, even a wrath isn't going to get it done most of the time. So a very threatening combo to close out the game, tutoring up Steal the Godhead for Geist of St. Traft. Otherwise, Path to Exile gives us a bit of removal. Mana base, the most interesting land is Moreland Haunt. Gives us a way to reuse our spirits and make more spirits as our spirits are killed. So if our opponent manages to Fatal Push or even Wrath our board for only two mana plus tapping Moreland Haunt, we just keep making more spirits. And remember, they are triggering our Mausoleum Wonder. They're benefiting from our Lord. So they're more than just random one ones with flying. Otherwise, bunch of dual lands, also some basic lands, some backup duels in Glacial Fortress and Sea Chrome Coast. As far as the sideboard, Nibble gas herald is actually a pretty sweet sideboard option it can help on offense by tapping down flying blockers and then on defense if we have ether vial or rattle chains we can flash in spirits to tap down big like death shadows tarmogoyf big attackers even eldrazi that could be a problem remorseful cleric spirit that's also like a tormod script leon and arbiter a bit weird but helps against fetch lands also could shut down some random tutor based decks otherwise temporal isolation very strange backup removal spell disadvantage chat to destroy artifacts and enchantments graph diggers cage for graveyard slash collected company we can play it because we don't have collected company rest in peace to deal with graveyards unified will and worship to help in combo matchups since we usually have more creatures in the combo deck unified will just a hard counter typically and then worship in some matchups can just jank out the game especially with the hexproof of geist of saint draft really hard for certain decks to deal with and that is blue white enchanted spirits for modern and that's been our fishbowl Thursday instant deck tech for this week. So again, thank you so much to No Snip for setting in a super cool deck. And once again, if you want your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave that link in the comments or email me, saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here